Between Shrewsbury School and St Chad's Church is the park known as The Quarry, where every year tens of thousands of people flock to visit Shrewsbury's world-famous flower show. There are over three million blooms on display at the show, evidence of the wonders of creation in all its beauty and diversity. This is the 122nd show this year, and the only time there hasn't been a flower show here in the Quarry Park in Shrewsbury uh, in the last 100 years is the two world wars. The standard and the quality, according to the judges this year, is incredibly high. You have to look at the floral art displays, which are quite phenomenal, and the theme, of course, is Charles Darwin in many of them. It's a popular show, get tremendous local support as well from our amateur exhibitors, which we're very grateful for. We are actually in the Guinness Book of Records as being the world's longest running horticultural show. I would say it's a fantastic family day out for everyone. As well as the flowers, we in addition have a very wide variety of attractions for young and old alike. Percy Thrower came here in the late 1940s and he was Park's superintendent. He was the Society's and the show's honorary horticultural advisor and had a lot to do with laying out the dingle and indeed the trees in the avenues in the quarry. And was of course a great name for the Shrewsbury Flower Show to be able to hang its hat on. We are very, very weather dependent. Day like today, if we have another day like this tomorrow, 50,000 will, will come through those gates. Charles Darwin, I think, would be absolutely amazed at what he found here. And I think he would be very proud that it has taken place in his hometown. The Abbey Church is the setting for another of Shrewsbury's claims to fame. In the stories by Ellis Peters, the fictional super sleuth and herbalist Brother Cadval was a monk at Shrewsbury Abbey. The popular television series starring Sir Derek Jacobi as Cadval was actually filmed on location in Hungary. Now that's probably due to the fact that Thomas Telford built this very road through the Abbey grounds. It's quite noisy but the links to the monastic detective still remain strong. And what could have been Cadval's herb garden has now been turned into an urban garden and wildlife sanctuary.